Hello and welcome to this video and to mine and Pete's trip to Wimbledon, the 2022 Championships. Today is Thursday the 30th of June, so we are going to the first Thursday, so it's second round matches, and we have court one tickets, which is good because even if it rains we've got a roof, so we're going to see tennis today. We are both fortunate in that we've been a few times before, so this is not our first time at the tennis, is it Pete? Mm -hmm. This is not our first time at the tennis. No, it's not. Um, so, so we're, we're very fortunate in that we've been a number of times before, but I personally haven't been for... When's the last time I went? I haven't been raised either. Maybe about five years. So it's fitting that before we leave London that we get to go to the tennis again. So we are in the process of... Oh, I've just gone very dark, so... Uh, so we're in the process of packing everything up. Wimbledon is actually quite a long day, so... The gates open at 10 and we're going to try and get there for as close to that as possible so that we can then get a good spot on an outside court before court one opens at about one o'clock. So, and there's potential that it could go on till, you know, 10 at night. So it could be a good 12 hour day. So we have a lot of food that we're packing. Uh, we may have overdone it, but my tip for you if you're ever going to Wimbledon bring snacks graze throughout the day you're not really going to get two full meals so we have all sorts of unless you miss tennis and yeah unless you want to miss the tennis whereas we'll just grab a sandwich out the bag and then carry on while we're doing it so we have all sorts of bits and bobs in there a cool bag in there did you get my water out the fridge so yeah we're all set uh, also you need to pack all sorts of things, so coats, sunglasses, umbrellas, because you never know what the weather's going to do. So I need to help Pete sort these bags out and then we'll come back to you. So we're walking up to the courts from the station. It takes about, what, 20 minutes, 25 minutes? 20 minutes. And because we have designated tickets, <coughs> we don't need to turn up super early. super early. Like if you were going to use the queue, because if you didn't know, you can turn up at the crack of dawn or camp overnight with the chance of gaining tickets. I did it once. Got up at 4 a.m. Got um, to be fair, I think they still do it. They used to do where uh, first 250 got sent to court tickets, next 250 get <laughs> court one, next 250 get court two. But to get to court, you have to like camp overnight. Yeah, so oh, I, I've, got, I've got quite a few tickets here at 4 a.m. <laughs> I have never camped, but me and my mum have come to do the queue a couple of times. We used to get here or get to Wimbledon at about half five, six o'clock in the morning, um, and we used to get ground passes, which is what we were after. They're the cheapest ticket. You usually see all the outside courts. Yeah, you got to pay for the good tickets to get there. But, but. Yeah. But yeah, still well worth the money, but yeah. Um, if you have it, obviously. Yeah. There is that option. It is longer, obviously. We were lucky in that we got, well, Pete was lucky in that he got the ticket in the ballot. Was it the club ballot or the normal ballot? I think it's the, um, just the house ballot, everyone. So the one that everyone can go. Yeah. Because Pete is also a member of tennis club. He can go in the ballot with them yeah. if he ever remembered to do it. I think I did this year. <laughs> just didn't get any tickets. If you are doing the queue, would recommend getting the taxi from the station, just so that you get there earlier. You're more likely to get in that way. The way back, best to walk. The taxi queue can be like hours long. Obviously, I'm talking from way like 10 years ago experience. It could have all changed. Right, I've been doing that walking up a hill, so I'm a bit out of breath, so it's time to go. We made it. Just about. Yes, we made it. Somebody doesn't read the instructions on the tickets. Someone doesn't listen to me to refresh the tickets. Um, so it turns out you have to have them on your phone and you have to transfer them before you get here. That whole process was a bit of a faff. Alistair Gray versus Taylor Taylor uh, mm, Pete was very, very eager to get to court 12 for this match. Um, yeah, two hours good tennis before. So made everything ten times more stressful. Hey, good for you. <laughs> but we made it. We're here. 
it is about 20 past 10, play starts at 11. So we're gonna be sat here for a little while. <laughs>
there you go that was our day at Wimbledon we enjoyed ourselves a lot there is a lot of things we could have done and didn't do and all of that kind of stuff apparently there's a museum that I've never actually been to currently it has a exhibition although the man in the big you know ominous sky voice says expedition so that entertained me um, about the centenary of Centre Court so 100 years of Centre Court uh, which may have been interesting but obviously we were there to see the tennis so we didn't do that we did wander over to the Arangi practice courts but there was nothing really happening as we went for a little leg stretch between matches and yeah just had a, a good day eagle-eyed people out there will have noticed that we had the wedding video last week which obviously I'm very proud of and spent quite a bit of time on so if you haven't seen that one I'll link that up here but we obviously had that last week and then we've gone into Wimbledon which was the 30th of June and you'll be like where's the mini moon well because today the day that you're watching it the 10th of July I think it is is men's finals day at Wimbledon I thought let's actually be time sensitive with this video and get it out relatively quickly so that it is there for at least the end of the championships um, but the mini moon will be coming to you next week so that is the plan in terms of tips for Wimbledon obviously I would always say bring snacks graze throughout the day that way you don't really have to leave courts you can just sit and eat your stuff there because certainly people around us who were going to buy food and there are a lot of options and they weren't too bad like you could get standard sort of that kind of fair like burger and chips and stuff for like £10 which I would prefer to bring in my own food because of that but um, I thought it'd be more expensive I did see a pizzeria somewhere um, there were people with chopsticks so there was obviously some sort of noodles or something but they had to leave if we talking about court one they had to leave court one you're only allowed in at change of ends so that you don't disturb the players and the queues were very long and people could take almost a set before they came back because they obviously had to queue for the food if they were then getting a drink as well like an alcoholic drink they would have to queue for that then they had to queue to get back onto the court some of you will be screaming that we didn't have strawberries and cream i personally don't like strawberries and pete wasn't that fast we did think about getting an ice cream and then we saw the queue so we said no i did also offer to get my pins but he decided against it so yeah it it all depends on how you want to do your day at wimbledon um in terms of tips but obviously we were there we wanted to watch as much tennis as we could so that's why we did it the way that we did it but if you have any questions I may be able to answer them, I may not be, um, but please put them in the comments below. And on that note, I think I'm going to end this video here, so if you've enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!